you don't owe these people anymore. You've given them everything. Not everything. Not yet. Just enjoy greatness. I wild myself with this one. No intros. Just watch. Enjoy greatness. We got Blue Boy. We got... Uh, Big and Demon, one day a piece of Doctor Into the Void. You think you're Pengar? What are you doing? Why the hell are you playing Into the Void? Why the hell are you playing one day a piece? Why the hell are you playing Blue Boy? But I have decided that one day a piece of Into the Void are incredible. Now let me tell everything why. Don't just look at this hand and say, Oh, way to the void, one day a piece. What the hell is this guy doing? Let me just click X right now with this fucking scrub noob. No. Listen for a little, okay? Listen. Listen. This hand right here is going to get seven negates. And Into the Void and One Day of Peace is the reason why, alright? Now, what these cards do, Upstart alone is the best card in this deck. Why? Gives you a counter and draw a card. Draw a card, it gets rid of the card it would have been, right? So you would have drawn any other card, but it gets you a free counter for nothing. And counters are very vital in this deck, and it allows you, by playing a lot of draw cards like this, lets you take out cards like the Citadel, and Demia Lab, and stuff like that. So now you just play consistent, consistent, consistent cards, and you never, ever, ever break. So your time to drawing three field spells are over, alright? Now look at this. Now... What into the void? You say, oh, I lose my hand. Why would I play a pen god? Why would I play into the void if I lose my hand? Are you are you the pen god or are you the dumb god? No, I'm the pen god, baby. Who cares what's in your hand at the end? Why would you need a hand when you have scales and seven negates, right? Uh, and, and set spells and traps because you're the only your pendulum summoning all the monsters in your hand. So the only thing left in your hand is spell cards, so you just set them. So you don't even lose your hand. You don't ever lose your hand. If you even lose two or three cards in hand, who gives a shit? You have six negates. And three set cards and scales, you have your follow up, and your follow ups like are gonna get you more pluses. So that's how you play into the void. One day piece, Peng, why do you play one day piece? Each player draws one card. I don't give a fuck if my opponent draws three cards. <laughs> They're not doing any of their 68s. They can play with 10 cards to start. I don't care if no one takes damage. That shit's irrelevant. The only thing I wanna read is each player draws, I draw one card, I don't care what they draw. So we play every card in the game that says draw. Every card in the game, literally, you're about to see for yourself. And let me show you guys why these cards are so damn important. We this is a bad hand. We don't draw any way to get servant. We don't have any servant. We don't have magister. We don't have institution. We don't have any card that's good. We have one endemion card, and it's uh, the one you don't want to get. Uh, so we go open up. We get a doctor. Some people don't even play a doctor. Let me tell you guys something amazing here. So into the void, right? The card that sucks gets an upstart. What do you know? We have three free counters, and all these cards are going to re-get themselves. We don't care if we lose our hand. We don't care if our opponent draws. You're putting a seven engage. Who gives a shit? Let's draw another card. Engage! That's right. We play Sky Strikers too. Why? Why? You play 20 spells that all end up in the grave instantly. Engage literally just says draw one card in this deck. It literally says draw one card, but it doesn't just say draw one card. It says draw one card and get two monsters on board. Which is going to be amazing for Sayuja. Yeah, there's Sayuja involved in this too. I've really cooked up the absolute goo for this. Enjoy greatness. Shout out to uh, my boy, okay? Shout out to my, my boy for requesting this deck. Uh, <laughs> sorry, forgot your name. Let's keep going. Uh, okay, so we search server because we don't have the server. Servant being two and abductor being three is irrelevant because you're simply going to uh, bring us servant anyways with all the spell cards you have. So you just like that, you have three free counters on abductor. You got your ex all your three cards back from this plus a plus one from abductor, and then you keep going. Whether your opponent draws ten cards or one, is irrelevant, and whether you discard at the end is irrelevant because you're putting up multiple engage anyways. Hey, what do you know? You got three spells in there. Let's activate engage. Let's draw one and get a hornet as well. All you need is just two. Spells in there really, but hey, three's fine. Uh, because you're always gonna have spells in there regardless. Because don't forget, you also have two from Blue Boy. Don't forget that as well. So this I would have had five spells before engage. Because Blue Boy always gets two spells in there for engage as well. Now you draw an institution, which is one of the best cards in this deck. Some people don't play, I don't know why. It searches literally anything you want in your deck. So you're gonna keep adding, just keep playing here. We're gonna go Hornet. Uh Hornet gonna get Kagari. Kagari, we only play Hornet as the one target of engage. You only want it as two monsters, and if you use engages first draw, you already uh, get like a free draw. Anything more, it's too much at that point. Now you're gonna have to be a hornet simply just to get another counter on there. You wanna want to keep stacking everything, and what's really gonna happen here is uh, beautiful. We're gonna normal blue boy, and you just keep playing here, man. You just keep playing forever. Like it's just so damn powerful what this deck could do. Uh, if you notice already, we haven't even gone through. This is the first time we play a. Uh, the first time we play a a 
and Demiar card, and look where it leads us. Like we played, so look how many cards we play before we even play one in Demiar card. This is how you have to play in Demion. Consistent, flowing, free flowing. You just draw, 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 free flowing. Like, look at all these cards that give you so much plussing, and we didn't even use knowledge yet. Like, we're gonna have seven spell cards in Grave, and the only one of these seven that people play is Upstart Goblin. Like, Blue Boy, the engine is needed for Endymion. Sky Circle engine is needed for Endymion. Like, it gives you two free bosses, a draw card, and two free spell counters. Sign me up. Into the Void is needed. Who gives a fuck about your hand when you have scales and you set your hand? You set your hand onto the spell trap zone and scales, right? You don't need it, right? Institution, like, it may, why do people not play this card? One day, I don't care how many cards your opponent has. One day a piece is the only optional one to take out. Into the Void is not. Into the Void is mandatory. Now you keep going here, like, the game part, we're going to want to put as many Jackals and Demons on board as possible, right? We're just going to keep playing here. Like, Jack, before we do all that, we, we, we search Jackal up Institution. What we should have done is we should have searched it before, uh, we should have done the play first before, just in case he had a hand drop, anyway, it's fine. Well, we keep going here. Uh, we draw, here we draw Secrets and uh, Blue Boy, right? You're going to be like, yo, oh, shit, these cards are going to suck. What, they're going to do nothing for us. We have Secret with two dead cards in our hand. Guess what, baby? Saryuja. So now this hat, if they hand drop Saryuja here, let's say if they hand drop Saryuja, you simply pen summon three. Sorry, yeah, you pen summon three negates, and you're going to end up with four negates, actually. You're going to pen you're going to get four negates. You're going to get three negates and a deco talker if, if they hand drop uh, the Saryuja. So you're going to have five negates if they hand drop Saryuja. Nice. Five negates to their five cards. Uh, that's the only card they could have hand trapped that would have actually helped them. And you still had five negates. Like, hand trap don't do shit. So you got rid of the two cards that don't do anything. You got rid of the blue boy and the secrets. And you're just going to keep playing here. Institution is not a hard one to return, which is insane. Into the Void, people said it sucked, right? It just keeps giving you counters. I should have a special a Jackal right off the bat from Soyuja. Because it, uh, the Jackal would have stacked more counters for you. Which you'll be able to trigger off Institution on the following turn. But again, that was one, the one misplay we did in this turn. We should have right off the bat said, so use your special to the Jackal to start getting counters instantly. But that's totally fine. It, it doesn't matter. It's going to end up with the same result. And now we're just going to keep playing it. We're going to act, actually activate the effect of the Servant. And we're going to go into Electrum. You don't even need to activate Electrum. You don't even need to use Electrum, to be honest. We're going to add with the Institution. We're going to add a Jackal. Because uh, again, you don't need to, you could use uh, Institution many times, well, once per turn, but it's not a hard once per turn. We're not going to go into our Electrum. Pop the Magister just to draw a card. Secrets, doesn't matter what you drew, it literally didn't matter whatsoever. Uh, you just wanted to draw your case of a spot to set it or whatever it may be. Now you're going to want to make, make a decode before. Uh, we're going to uh, use Soyuja now. I realize is that at that point I have to summon the Jackal as soon as possible to get more counters. And as you see, what these cards do is they set up your play. So we went through all these cards, giving you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 free counters for you. You don't ever use your normal summon, so Blue Boys were marvelous in this deck. So we went through 9 free spells. Search twice. Search with the doctor. Look at this. Like this is insane, right? Like uh, you search through the jackal, then demon. You search all these cards. We search for jackal twice. We search. We could. We would have searched endemion if we needed to. We didn't even send off electrum. Electrum would have sent another endemion if we didn't draw them. So like in this play, you search for three. We you search for jackal off the servant. So we search for three jackals in this play. We search for jackal off servant and on and off the two institutions. So we search jackal three times. And uh, we hard drew two and Demion, which Electrum would have searched for another Demion. So in this combo, you search for four of them. And like, you're going to hard draw one out of the draws 10, draw 15. You're drawing 15 times. You're, you're opening f five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And so use your four. We drew, we drew 17 times. We drew 17 times this turn. We drew 17 fucking times in turn zero. 17 times we were allowed to look at 17 cards and that's without the draw we also added one two three electrum adds a card four hornet well we only add the hornet we and we added four so we drew 17 and added four uh my bad uh added five because i count this as an add so we added five and drew 17 talk about consistency it does this every single turn uh like well, that was even a bad hand if anything like that was uh, you saw the opening hand the opening hand was kind of pissed uh now we're gonna pen summon we go into a deco talker because that's all we're gonna want the negates and then we'll, like we're gonna want free those space anyways and there you go five, five negates on uh moss we got these five triple jackal double endemion and a deco talker which after use the endemion the jackal first and again if you did that properly jackal would have eight counters which you would have used utilize the jackal, jackals one by one and you just want more counters on for institution uh double institu uh, double the big endemion and three jackal this shit's fucking crazy this is literally the first turn we did i did this live on stream Alright, so, 
Live on stream. We did live on stream first hand with the uh, with the test. It wasn't the first hand. The original deck sucked. It was just basically pure and Demion, and then it ended up with Witchcrafter and Demion. Then it was like Spellbook, Spellbook and Demion with Fate and Master and stuff. That kind of sucked. And then we ended up with this Masterpiece. And the first hand of this Masterpiece with this exact deck of how this is with the Strikers, everything ended up with this beauty. So, fucking marvelous. Absolutely incredible. I'm going to show you guys the deck football tomorrow. Uh, absolutely amazing. Seven to Gates. The hand sucked. Like, we drew, what, uh, one day piece into the Void. Uh, Magician, Blue Boy, uh, Abductor, and uh, Big Boy, uh, Big and Big and Demion. Like, th no one plays half those cards. We drew Engage, another card no one plays. Why do people not play these cards? I don't understand. They're so damn powerful for this deck. It's a spell kind of deck. Play good spells. It's an amazing deck. Pen God Strikes again. Absolutely amazing. I'm the best player of all time. I will clap your bitch if you don't think so. Just joking. Uh, anyways, guys, this deck's absolutely amazing. Hope you guys enjoy it. Don't miss out on my streams because we break amazing decks like this. So don't miss out on absolute perfection, boys. This is a deck. I'm going to do another video tomorrow. I'm going to be doing crazy amounts of live testing with this deck, very deck tomorrow on stream. Tomorrow we're live testing in Demons live uh, with this new format. And it's absolutely insane. Every turn does this. Every card in the deck just says draw, 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 search, search, search. The other 19 cards left in the deck are the better versions of the searches. Like, we drew, we drew the shit cards. The other 19 are the good cards. We drew bad. And we ended up with seven negates. Into the void trigger triggers at the end phase. No cards in hand, no problem, because you set them. You set them. And it looks like you have no follow-up, right? It looks like you have no follow-up. Well, you have seven negates, so you don't need a follow-up. I don't care if they draw a card one day, because they can draw five cards. Irrelevant. Uh, look at your follow-up, right? Looks like you have no follow-up, but you have an abductor, double institution, and infinite counters. Because if you play this probably this Jack will have eight counters, right? Uh so your turn. You draw uh, Demion. Uh you're gonna search up institution. You're going to search up Institution. You're going to search off Abductor. Secrets. The set Secrets. Get you more Spell Counters for everything. Blue Boy, search another Secrets. Fodder for Nightmares. You're going to need some cards in hand. Fodder for the Nightmares. Pop all your opponent's stuff. OTK. Like, this deck's insane. It's absolutely crazy. This is the best version of MDM, no doubt. More videos in the future. With real life cards. More testing. See you guys tomorrow's video. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.